Hi everyone, um, in this video um, I'm going to show you the speed painting of my last original painting called um, Water is Life. Uh, so I'll talk you through a little bit. Um, before I started painting I actually primed the MDF board with the gesso primer uh, twice um, and then I let it dry. Uh, before I start painting on it. Um, so I started um, kind of sketching out the, the portrait at the beginning. I'm never actually quite sure um, what I'm going to paint. Um, the fine art, the traditional art that I do, I kind of treat it a bit more three. Um, I use a bit more of my imagination with it. So I have a plan at the beginning, like some references that I look at and then at some point the idea will come and um, it will guide me and um, I've started with the purple colors and reds um, but you will later see that um, the idea will change. So the first process is to sketch out the, um, the portrait, if I'm painting a portrait, and just to um, see how, uh, where I'm going to, to put the shadows and the light and uh, which colours I will use. So I've noticed that I like to um, use opposite colours, so I will use warm colours where the light is and then colder tones um, where the shadow is. I like to also add um, um, contrasting highlights so uh, where I will use colder colors I will use uh, bright warmer highlights. Um, as you can see I added some yellows there but actually I removed it later and then on the warm side I like to add uh, colder tones as you can see I've decided to uh, come for a blue to go for a blue background and um, the idea has come um, about life in the water so I've added the shells as well and I have this idea of um, underwater feeling in this painting I also really like to add um, some golden tones, um, I really um, I like, I enjoy looking at the painting when it has like gold uh, paint undertones so it really uh, catches the light and it shines different direction and every time you look at it um, the painting shines a bit differently and it looks a little different than when you look with the direct light or with the room light on it. So here I'm just adding a bit more shadows and more highlights. It was actually the first time that I've ever painted some shelves. Um, I did enjoy it. It was quite fun. I always um, find it enjoyable to add some different elements to the painting. It's a nice challenge as well. But I still find the portraits most challenging, so I think that's why I like painting them so much. I'm finding that the background and any additional any additional um, elements to the painting I will paint it quite quickly and it's not as challenging as, as painting a portrait. I recently discovered um, 
that painting on the MDF boards, not on the canvases, it gives such a nice structure. Uh, so when layering the paint a few times, it gives this nice matte effect, but it's, it's a bit smoother than if I would pile so much paint on the canvas. So at the moment it's like my favorite um, to use for painting, um, for acrylic paintings. I've noticed that as if each layer it makes the painting looks smoother and the colors are so bright as well. In the future I would like to uh, try to make my own pigments. I'm just not quite sure yet how to achieve those bright colors. Um, I hope it's possible. If you know um, how to do this, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but I am researching this. I think it's a nice process to be able to create your own pigments. So in here I've added a bit more shadows and, and lights um, and that's the completed painting I hope you enjoy this speed paint video and see you next time